For thousands of years, humans have worked alongside cattle, shaping their evolution from wild beasts to dependable farm animals. But today, we've taken this relationship even further, creating hybrid cow breeds that combine the best traits of their ancestors. These remarkable animals are stronger, more resilient, and better adapted to extreme conditions than ever before. From the freezing Himalayas to the scorching African savannas, hybrid cattle are rewriting the rules of farming and becoming essential allies in ensuring global food security amidst changing climates and rising populations. Through carefully planned crossbreeding, scientists and farmers are enhancing livestock performance, reducing environmental impact, and meeting the growing demand for high-quality meat and dairy. In fact, a 2023 FAO report notes that hybrid breeds now contribute to over 30% of cattle in emerging markets, with improved feed efficiency and disease resistance. As we explore some of the most fascinating hybrid cattle breeds of today, you'll discover how nature and science work together to reshape agriculture. Before we dive in, make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you love learning about animals and how they're shaping the future of farming. Your support helps us bring more unique content your way. The Beefalo A powerful mix of American bison and domestic cattle, B.O.S. Taurus. Originating in the 1970s in the United States, this hybrid was born out of necessity to create a breed that could thrive under harsh environmental conditions while providing lean, high-protein meat. With climate change now intensifying weather extremes, the relevance of beefalo has only grown. Beefalo inherit the bison's incredible endurance and the cow's high meat quality. They are capable of enduring extreme cold, thriving on poor forage, and resisting many common cattle diseases. Their meat, lower in fat and cholesterol compared to standard beef, has gained traction among health-conscious consumers and niche markets. In recent years, Small-scale ranchers and regenerative agriculture proponents have embraced beefalo as a sustainable alternative. Recent USDA data shows that beefalo meat production has steadily increased, with over 30,000 animals now registered in the US. The breed is also being studied for its lower methane emissions compared to traditional cattle, potentially aiding in climate change mitigation. Several eco-conscious restaurants have added beefalo dishes to their menus, further expanding its market. However, controversy surrounds the hybrid's impact on wild bison populations. Conservationists argue that interbreeding threatens the genetic purity of the iconic American bison. Careful management and separation of domestic and wild herds remain essential to preserving the wild species. Nonetheless, beefalo stand as a prime example of how blending the wild with the domestic can produce livestock fit for the future. The Dizo Building on the theme of resilience in extreme climates, we move from North America to the towering Himalayas, where another hybrid proves its worth, the Dizo. This majestic animal is a cross between a yak, B.O.S. Grunians, and domestic cattle. Traditionally found in Nepal, Bhutan, and Tibet, the Dizo is perfectly adapted to high altitudes, where oxygen is scarce and temperatures plummet. The yak's lung capacity, dense fur, and robust frame make it a survivor in mountain terrain. However, its meat and milk production fall short when compared to domestic cattle. Enter the Dizo, which combines the yak's physiological toughness with the cow's superior productivity. Farmers benefit from animals that are not only pack carriers for high-altitude trade routes but also providers of meat, milk, and even fuel in the form of dung. Recent research from Himalayan agricultural institutes highlights the Dizo's growing role in climate-resilient farming systems. With increasing glacial retreat and unpredictable weather, Dizo S are now integral to sustainable livestock practices. Their ability to graze on sparse mountain vegetation with minimal environmental impact is drawing interest from conservationists. Additionally, international development agencies are supporting programs promoting Dizo husbandry to boost food security in remote highland villages. Male Dizo S are typically sterile, which means the breed must be continually regenerated through yak cattle mating. This does add a layer of labor, but for many mountain communities, the payoff is worth the effort. As ecotourism grows in the region, the Dizo has also become a cultural icon, symbolizing the strength and perseverance of the people who rely on it. What hybrid animal would you trust to survive in the Himalayas? Share your thoughts below and let us know what fascinates you most about these mountain marvels. 
The Zebroid From high mountains to genetic curiosity, we encounter the Zebroid, a hybrid between a zebra and either a horse, donkey, or in rare cases, cattle. While not bred for agricultural purposes, the Zebroid exemplifies the extremes of hybrid genetics. Most often created for scientific research or novelty, Zebrards are unpredictable in temperament and almost always sterile. The reason for their unpredictability lies in the vastly different genetic makeup of zebras and their hybrid partners. Zebrards often retain the zebra's wild instincts, which makes them unsuitable for farm labor or meat production. However, their existence challenges our understanding of species boundaries and invites us to ask deeper questions about the limits of genetic compatibility. Recent advances in genome editing and reproductive technology have revived interest in zebrards, particularly in conservation science. Some researchers are exploring the use of zebra hybrids to preserve endangered equigenetics, especially for rare subspecies like the grievous zebra. Additionally, zebrards have gained popularity in exotic animal sanctuaries and educational wildlife parks, where they help raise public awareness about biodiversity. Their unique striping patterns and striking appearances continue to captivate audiences, making them unexpected ambassadors for hybrid science. In 2023, a research team in South Africa successfully mapped the hybrid genome of a zebroid, offering new insights into chromosomal barriers and hybrid infertility. Though they may not contribute directly to food security or traditional farming, zebrards play an important role in genetic studies, helping scientists better understand cross-species breeding and hybrid viability. They remind us of the complexities involved in mixing domesticated and wild traits, and of how even failed hybrids can inform future innovations. The Gao Hybrid The Gao Hybrid as we shift back to hybrids that have real-world agricultural applications, we journey to South and Southeast Asia, where the Gao, B.O.S. Gorus, the largest wild cattle species, has contributed its genes to produce strong, disease-resistant livestock. The Mithun, also known as Gael, a semi-domesticated hybrid of the Gao and domestic cattle, thrives in India's northeastern states and parts of Myanmar and Bangladesh. Mithun cattle are revered among tribal communities, often used in dowries and cultural rituals. Their robust frame, natural resistance to diseases, and ability to graze in dense forests make them valuable for small-scale farmers in rugged terrains. Recent breeding programs have begun to optimize the Mithun's genetics for higher milk and meat yield without compromising its natural resilience. According to a 2024 report by India's IKRNRC on Mithun, genetic improvement initiatives using artificial insemination and selective breeding are now showing promising results including a 20% increase in meat yield and improved milk composition. State governments have also begun offering subsidies to encourage methoon rearing as a sustainable livelihood for indigenous farmers. Moreover, digital livestock tracking systems are being piloted to monitor health and productivity, aiming to modernize husbandry practices without disrupting cultural traditions. Ethical breeding practices are especially important here, as wild gows are considered vulnerable due to habitat loss and hunting. Preserving the wild gao population while responsibly expanding Mithun hybrids involves habitat conservation, gene banks, and community-led initiatives that integrate traditional knowledge with modern science. Want to dive deeper into the cultural and ecological importance of gao hybrids? Hit that subscribe button and explore our extended videos and blogs on cattle conservation and innovation. The Ankol Watusi the Ankol Watusi. Continuing the exploration of culturally significant cattle, the Ankol Watusi emerges as a stunning example of form meeting function. With horns that can span more than 8 feet, these hybrids, descended from ancient African Sangha cattle and possibly influenced by Indian Zebu genetics, are as majestic as they are practical. Ankol Watusi cattle are native to East Africa and are especially prized in Uganda and Rwanda. Their large, hollow horns act as thermal regulators dissipating body heat and enabling survival in arid climates. These cattle are icons of wealth, social status, and identity among various African tribes. In the past two decades, breeders across the globe, including in the United States and Europe, have shown growing interest in Ankol Watusi cattle. 
Their hardiness, low maintenance diet, and exotic appearance make them valuable not only for meat production but also as show animals and biodiversity conservation assets. A 2023 Livestock Genetics report notes that Ankol Watusi crossbreeding with local African breeds has increased resilience to tick-borne diseases and improved calf survival rates. Digital registries have also been launched to track pedigrees and prevent inbreeding. Meanwhile, agritourism initiatives in Uganda are leveraging these cattle to educate visitors about indigenous livestock systems. Efforts to preserve pure Ankol Watusi bloodlines while enhancing certain traits through selective breeding are underway ensuring that their heritage and utility are maintained for future generations. This hybrid serves as a testament to how cultural legacy and environmental adaptation can converge in a single breed. The Brangus The Brangus. When it comes to commercial beef production, no hybrid is as strategically engineered as the Brangus. A cross between the Aberdeen Angus and Brahmin cattle, the Brangus combines the Angus's premium beef quality with the Brahmin's tolerance to heat, parasites, and disease. This hybrid is a dominant force in livestock markets from the Americas to Australia. Developed in the 20th century, Brangus cattle are black or red, naturally polled, hornless, and known for their calm temperament and efficient feed conversion. They thrive in subtropical climates, making them ideal for regions where Angus cattle alone would falter. Their adaptability has led to increased investment in genetic tracking, breeding programs, and export initiatives. Recent data from the International Brangus Breeders Association IBBA, shows a 15% rise in global Brangus registrations between 2020 and 2024, driven by their performance in extreme weather conditions. Precision breeding tools like genomic selection are being widely adopted to enhance traits like marbling, fertility, and feed efficiency. In Brazil and Mexico, Brangus herds have been integrated into silvopastoral systems, combining forestry and grazing to improve soil health and biodiversity. Meanwhile, retailers in North America and Australia are marketing Brangus beef as a premium yet sustainable product. As consumer demand shifts toward more sustainable and humane farming practices, the Brangus breed has gained a competitive edge. They require less medical intervention, are more feed efficient, and contribute to reduce greenhouse gas emissions per unit of meat produced, attributes that align with the goals of climate-smart agriculture. So, if you were to start a cattle farm today, would you choose Brangus over traditional breeds? Share your answer in the comments and let us know what features matter most to you. Each of the hybrids we've explored today offers a unique glimpse into the future of agriculture, where tradition, science, and necessity intersect. Hybrid cattle aren't merely novelties, they are evolving solutions to some of the world's most pressing challenges, from food scarcity and climate adaptation to cultural preservation and animal welfare. Research into gene editing, selective breeding, and reproductive technologies continues to accelerate. Hybrids may soon be tailored with even greater precision, designed to survive sea level rise, feed on alternative crops, or even produce milk with enhanced nutritional value. However, such advancements must be balanced with ethical oversight, biodiversity protection, and respect for indigenous practices. Still watching? If you're loving this journey through the world of hybrid cattle, give this video a thumbs up, comment with your favorite hybrid, and don't forget to share it with your friends. As we move forward into an era of agricultural innovation, hybrid cattle will undoubtedly play a starring role. Whether you're a farmer, scientist, or animal enthusiast, their stories reflect the ingenuity and care required to sustain life on a changing planet. Here are some questionnaires for you. Which of these hybrids would you like to see on your local farm? Could hybrid cattle change the way we feed the world? Join the conversation in the comment section. Share this video with fellow animal lovers and stay tuned for more insights into the world of extraordinary livestock.